Weirdo by Zadie Smith, Nick Laird, and Magenta Fox. It was Kit's birthday. Her present was a soft, small, sleepy surprise. She's perfect, Kit whispered. But why is she dressed like that? No one knew. The surprise wasn't telling. Kit left for school. The surprise woke up. She was surrounded. But what was it? Chirped Derek. She clearly can't fly. Not a cat, too round, said Dora. Or a pug, Bob decided. Those legs. She don't do much, noted Derek. Actually, whispered the surprise. I'm quite into judo. What's that now? Barked Bob. He was a bit deaf. She just said she's a weirdo. Sniggered Dora. Are you a weirdo? Asked Bob. The surprise didn't know what to say. Oh, she's definitely a weirdo," said Dora. "If you're not a cat or a dog or a bird, you're a weirdo." According to the schedule, Bob announced, "It is now time to watch Animal World." Do you watch Animal World? It's on the schedule. I've only seen the judo," whispered the surprise. She said she's always been a weirdo," shouted Dora, and with that, Dora and Bob padded into the living room to watch Telly. With Derek fluttering after, the surprise was left alone. She thought about ways to make herself more like the others. She sat down and felt sad. Then she had an idea. Shouted the surprise, "I can fly!" But just then, a gust of wind came in one window. Surprise! And blew the surprise out the other. Oops, she thought. The surprise was worried. Maybe she was going to go into the clouds or up into forever overhead. But just as she was floating past the last balcony, when all seemed lost, she met somebody. "Hello," said the somebody. "I'm Emily Brookstein, and what's your name?" "Everyone calls me Weirdo," said the surprise. Oh, they call me a weirdo too," said Emily Brookstein. "Life's too short to be a weirdo. Why do you think you're weird?" "I think," said the surprise, "because I am unaware of the schedule." "Heaven, save us from schedules!" cried Emily, and brought out a plate of coconut macaroons. Now, what's your real name? I don't know. I'm Kit's birthday present. Are you indeed? Well, I had an aunt Melody who looked a bit like you. She was a weirdo. Kept boiled eggs in her pocket and stayed out dancing ever so late. The surprise and Emily Brookstein played cards and ate macaroons until the grandfather. Clock struck three. Emily said, "I wish you could stay all day, but it must be about time to take you back. Your kit will be getting home soon." When Kit saw the surprise, she gave her a very long and very nice hug. And the surprise thought 
Oh, that's what I do. I get hugged. You guys said get. Meet Maud. Maud, is it? Murmured Maud. Who could hear perfectly well when he wanted to? We w were only a bit mean because we were worried you might be a weirdo, said Dora. Maud smiled and thought of Emily. I am a weirdo, she said, but I am also a Maud. Sorry about earlier, said Derek. Can you by any chance teach us some judo? So they added judo to the schedule.